hello friends welcome to my channel 5 minute class today we are going to talk about the linked list data structures in the previous video we have seen the difference between the array and the linked list data structure where we had compare the arrays and linked list data structure based on the different parameters like memory size flexibility efficiency so uh, and other parameters uh, we had discussed and then we had just compared the both the data structures today we are going to understand the linked list data structure in detail so what is the linked list a linked list is a collection of the nodes link where each node contains some data along with information about the next node how does it works a linked list uses a non contiguous memory locations and hence requires each node to remember where the next node is what is node node is a combination of two things data and the link data is the part where the actual information or the value is to be stored what is link link is the part of the node where we store the address of the next element so address is also called as the pointer okay the structure of the node is shown here where the first part is storing the data and the second part is storing the link okay so link is basically used for storing the address of the next node there are two ways of implementing the linked list here we can see the logical structure of the linked list we can see here that we have three nodes which are linked together with the help of the pointers so pointers are stored in the second part of the every node so the pointer variable holds the address of the next node and the address of the first node is kept inside the pointer that is called as the start okay so start is the pointer to the first node now let us see the array implementation of the linked list so when we are going to use the array for implementing the linked list then we are required to have two different arrays one array for storing the elements of the linked list and one array for storing the links links means address of the address part of the node okay you can see in the example that uh, that here two arrays data and links are declared in such a way that data is used for storing the info value or uh, value part or storing the actual information and link part holds the address of the next element fine now let us see the logical structure of the linked list as we have seen on the previous slide so here you can see that the the first node is a node which is having the value 35 which is connecting to the next node which is stored at the third index so that is 48 so here it is written as 48 and the next node is 54 and the last node is the 86 so 86 is uh, the link part of the 86 is set as null okay now we can write the traversing algorithm for this which is implemented using the array data structure so here we will initialize the i equals to 0 and we have to keep on accessing each index value till we reach the null pointer or the null value so while i is not null what we have to do we have to print the data value that is data i and we have to change the link value by the statement i equals to link of i if it was a simple array then we would have simply incremented the value of i since it is this array is implementing the linked list so we cannot simply increment the value of i here the i is to be updated by this statement that is i equals to link of i now let us see the insertion operation in the linked list so how the insertion operation will take place in the this diagram we can see the logical structure of the linked list at the first position 35 then 48 then 54 and then 
now we want to insert a value 38 onto this link list at the second position second position means after the 35 so after 35 we want to insert after 35 we want to insert the value 38 so how to insert this value suppose this 38 is to be inserted so 35 should start pointing to 38 and this 38 should start pointing to the 48 so we have to change the link part of the 35 means earlier the 35 was pointing to the 48 but after the insertion of the 38 the 35 must point to the 38 so 38 is stored at the fourth index so we have to insert the four as the link part of the 35 okay so what will happen that 35 will start pointing the 38 after that the 38 should point to the 48 so the link part of the uh, 38 to be set as 3 such that the 38 should start pointing to the 48 so only the these two entries are required to be modified for insertion of the 38. Now, I want to remove an element 54 from the existing link list. So, this is what is the current situation that the 54 is stored at this index, index 1, but logically it is at the uh, fourth position. You can see that at the first position 35, after that 38, after that 48 and after that it is 54. So how to remove this 54? We have to set the link part of this 54 in such a way that the previous value of the 54 should start pointing to the next value of the 54. We can see here in the link list that the 54 is at the fourth position and 86 is the fifth position. So what we have to change? We have to just change the value of link part of the 48 so that the 48 is now start pointing to the this 86. So now this will be removed from the link list.